think I might know this one. Amen. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I will. 
in the note that you must gather here is I will. For nobody can offer God a praise from you on your behalf. Praise is personal. I said praise is personal. And before the end of the day, we will explore why praise is your own accountability. Praise is your own accountability. Can nobody praise God for you? But you. Can nobody praise God for what he's done in your life but you? Praise is personal. Our thought this morning is just simply this. Don't lose your praise. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Look at him if you could. Hey, man, just look at him real nice and smile. Pull a smile with him. Like this and say, neighbor, neighbor, don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. Look to your other neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. <laughs> His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yalolation or praise or exhortation shall continually be in my mouth. You know, when you think of what God has done in your life, I don't know about you, but me, when I think about what God has done in my life, Sister Thompson, I don't care how bad of the experience I'm going through, I still got to praise. Do I have a witness in here? I don't care what the enemy Presents in my path, I still got to praise. Don't lose your praise. And you know, I was sitting after I was coming home, and a song came on the radio. You know, sometimes God sends subliminal songs to you to make you feel a certain way in the spirit. And I... I uh, was coming home and I wasn't feeling good in my spirit and somebody said spirit wasn't right. And God sent a song on the radio. Now I can't sing the whole song, but I did get the part out of it that I needed. <laughs> That's all you really need sometimes. You don't have to sing everything in the song. Just get the part out of it that you need. And the song was from the artist Tremaine Hawkins. And the song is entitled, I Never Lost My Praise. In the part, Brother Watkins, they grabbed me was these words. I never lost my hope. I never lost my joy. I never lost my praise. I had to keep on saying that. Just the three Verses of scripture, a verse of the song. I never lost my hope. I never lost my joy, and I certainly didn't lose my praise. And it took me over to the text where David is the writer of this text. And David is speaking from a condition. David at this time is on the run. Y'all ain't up to me. Uh -huh. David had been betrayed by his own people. That's right. Yeah. David, he ran for his life. Sometimes when you're running for your life, it'll drive you to go sleeping with the enemy. Or be in the camp with the enemy. Let me, let me say it that way. Don't go sleep with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sleep with the enemy. <laughs> you wake up and you might not be alive. <laughs> Don't sleep with the enemy. But anyway, 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 I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, David was on the run. And he was on the run from King or the high priest of Bimelech. That's right. Hey, Amen. Bimelech had cast David out. And I, I, you know, I kind of 
He can make a dollar. Put the stuff in there. His shoes. How many of y'all been cast out Amen. from a condition that you was supposed to inherit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nobody talking to Preach, Pastor. Are you new? My God. God had called you an only child. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That you knew your purpose was there.
time of hopelessness. Yeah. Your praise will defeat strongholds that are trying to hold you bound. Your praise is how you get God's attention. Yeah. You know, God don't move unless he hear you need a need. Y'all ain't going to. Though he's God, he want to hear from you. And what the devil wants to do is shut your mouth. He want to close you from giving God the glory. Yeah. Have you tried? Amen. My servant, consider my servant, Job. In all that Job went through, he never lost his integrity. He never lost his praise. He continued to praise God after he lost all of his children, all of his wealth, and all of what he earned, and even in his affliction. Job still held on to his praise. Yes. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm telling y'all, do not let this environment, do not let what you're going through steal your praise. I wish I had three people to just jump up and give God a praise right where you are. The enemy is waiting on the saints. Y'all ain't helping me. He's pressing us. Pressing us through our relationships, pressing us on our job, pressing us through our finances, but stop in faith. God is still good. God is, good. Yeah. God is still good. God is able to deliver. That's why I'm praising. Because I don't lose hope just because of what I'm going through. Can I get any help in here, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you saying here, 
David in this song. David is telling us something here. We must learn to praise the Lord even in our most difficult yes. circumstances. Yes. The same God that is worthy of a praise when things are going well, when things are going well, is the same God that's worthy of a praise when things are not going so well. Some of y'all are just mountaintop praises. Ain't nobody talking to me. Some people are just mountaintop praises. They got the biggest praise when everything's good. But Lord Jesus and Dick and David, let them have to sit down here with the regular folks. I'm going through, I'm going through the war triumph. All kinds of stuff. Sad songs and everything. Yeah. Come on, y'all. When you're up here, I got it, I got it, I got it. When you're down there, I'm going through. Feel sorry for me. Ain't nobody looking, but I'm going to keep on crying. All that crazy stuff. You need to pray to God the same way in the valley as you did yeah. on the mountain. Yeah. 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 Tell you never, never gonna lose your praise. Yeah. Do you know when the devil can dictate to you your praise, he controls you? Yeah. Mother, when the devil can dictate your praise, he controls you. And that's all the devil wanna do at all. He wanna puppet us. He want to show God, I got control over yeah. him. He said, why don't you take that praise out there now? He, he went to God yesterday. Now some of y'all said, let me just touch. Let me take 50 cents from him. Some of y'all fell out of the bench over 50 cents. <laughs> and he went back to God because he's a chooser of the brother. He said, I told you what I'm to him. And y'all want to do I told you what I'm to him. You let me take something from them and watch them stop praising you. That's why God told me to Bring this message this morning. Some of y'all going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. But don't lose your praise. Grab your neck out of here and say, Nathan, you don't, don't lose your praise. Because we're in this thing together. Yeah. Now, I'm glad to come out there and get somebody. Y'all and y'all are looking at each other right. Come on now. Look at your neighbor again and say, Nathan, yeah. don't lose your praise. Yeah. We're in this together. Yeah. Amen. Right. Hey, right. We are. Help us one to the other. Now, that ain't in the Bible like that. So don't say that's the Bible. I said that. We are help us one to the, each other. We help each other through the difficult times. That's right. That's what we do, Pastor. Oh, magnify. Let us, us. exalt his name together. Jeremiah, you need me and I need you. And I ain't talking about Cousin Kyle Walker. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying we need each other to help our praise. Hallelujah. Why do you think I'm so concerned? When the music ain't right, I need to praise. Somebody need to shout. I need to shout a little bit. I need to shout a little bit. Yeah. You know that I need to do me a little something, Grandma. Come on now. All right, now I'm here. Quick, quick, quick. Just give me a little rip there, Grandma. A little rip. You got something for me? I know you do. Okay, that's good enough. Y'all jump up on that. Come on, let's give him a praise. Take your heart to a verse of scripture. 
And he took me to this incident where David, hey amen, when I studied the deacon, this is a life-threatening situation for David. His encounter with King, King Achab of Gat, lately remembered as Abimelech, amen? And David sat down, I don't know how he did it, ladies and gentlemen, he was caught right in this side, yeah. on the run. Any of y'all had to write a praise, a triple yeah. praise on the run? Yeah. <laughs> David was writing this on the run. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And David was uh, basically saying in this, he, in this song, David got a revelation from the Lord. You know, that's what a praise to do sometimes, Jeremiah. When you're going through, God will give you the answer in your praise. Mm -hmm. Amen. David, while he was on the wrong run, that was Smith, and a member like came on him, David acted like he was crazy. That's right. You know, he acted like he was mad. Wow. You know, I don't care what I do, just get me out of this mess. <laughs> you might have to do, uh, you know, faith. Well, I don't know what to say. Oh, right. You might have to shake a little bit of something. Whatever, to get out of it. David had to act like he was mad right, man. to get out of his situation. Now, I'm not telling y'all run around here with foaming at the mouth and <laughs> snatching and grabbing folk talking about, I got to get out of my mess, from. <laughs> what you do, you just go in prayer. Amen. Amen. For you got something that David wasn't entitled to. You endowed with the Holy Spirit Amen. that gives you the answer to all things. Amen. So if you have a situation, you can go to God in prayer. With your praise, amen? amen. You can tell God just what you need in your praise. Anybody ever had to make up a song for praise? Yeah. Yeah. I do it all the time. I twist words on songs. <laughs> Lord, I'm running, trying to make 300. <laughs> 99 won't do, and I just get to running. And then I change the next verse. Jesus, I'll never forget why I'm trying. A praise don't have to be coordinated as long as it's coordinated in your spirit. Right. They used to get on me wanting to my old church but I would jack up some words in the songs. But I didn't care. That was my praise. I'm praying that I gotta get out. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know how you have a shower praise. You can see in a hundred verses in the shower praise. Ain't none of them connected. <laughs> You just make up something. That's right. And you can say, you know, I sound pretty good. And I get to turn to my pastor for the mic. I don't think so. I don't think so. But I know what I'm saying. Don't lose your praise. Amen. Hold on to your praise. Now, David was instructing us here, and he gave us three concepts in verses. 34, 1 through 10. Psalm 34, 1 through 10. And I'm going to break the concepts down to you. Verses uh, 34, 1 through 3, David was telling us these three things we must do to face our fears. He told us this. When I'm afraid, I will praise the Lord. That's number one. When you're afraid, don't run and hide. Start praising God. Don't get all discombobulated your spirit up. Get angry. When you're afraid, start praising God. That's number one. How many of you know what I just said? When you're afraid, you do what? Praise you start praising God. Why do you praise God? He said, the first thing you do is worship God. That which causes you fear may not immediately dispute, dispute that which God has told you in his word. That's why you start praising God, because it will initiate or unctionize that spirit that you've heard that the word of God said that he's more than a cop, he's a competent. You will understand that God is with you no matter what you're going through. This type of encouragement will come to your heart when you first start praising God. Number two, verses four through seven of Psalms 34, one through uh, 10. Verses 4 through 7 is when you're afraid, you should pray. Amen. How many of y'all do that when you're, when you're afraid? Do you start praying? Amen. 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 
Now you don't get on the hella phone. You get on the Jesus phone. Some of y'all go to the iPad. I mean, not iPad, what is that? Like? Uh, iPhone. This is where you go on your second round. What do you want to call? Uh, Susie. Uh-oh. Susie. Susie. Susie gonna tell you. Susie, yeah. Susie gonna start telling you. Ain't nothing gonna happen. I told you to go away. I told you not to mess with it. I told you to leave it alone. That ain't what you need right now. Right. You need somebody to tell you God is able. Yes, he is. Amen. I don't need nobody speaking all that negative, you know, move to Georgia. You know, there's a lot of jobs in Atlanta. What you talking about? I got a good job here in Cincinnati. Why am I move to Georgia? But if you don't pray, that's the kind of resources you go after. The third thing, verses 8 through 10, when you're afraid, you look for God's provision. How many God has promised something in here today? Sonia, put two hands up. Amen. If God has promised you something, don't get weary in your well-doing. Continue to praise. You should read. If you faint not, bring it. Y'all stop panicking when stuff don't happen. When you need it to happen. Yeah. If God told you it's going to happen, start praising it for it. Right. Start giving the glory for it. Even if it's going to happen for two years, keep praising it for two years. Don't lose your praise because you asked God something for in 2020 and here in 2023. Now you're looking over your shoulder. I'm going to leave the church. I'm going to leave the church. Come. I asked God, He's still in that in my Believe that God told you something. Believe it, because God's words are yea in their name. He is not as man that he should lie. Neither is some man that he should repent. If God says it, it's going to happen. That's why you should continue to praise him. No matter what you're going through, continue to praise him. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Don't lose your praise. And finally, David answers us a question. What are you afraid of? In the verse, he said, what are you afraid of? Oh, fear the Lord, he his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Now, the thing is, he's transposing that to tell the saints, you don't have no reason to even have fear raised up in your spirit. You should not let fear govern your worship. Do you hear me, Sister Dolphin? Fear should not govern your worship. Some of y'all get closed, y'all, as soon as you bump your head. I can tell it all they're going through. Don't let fear govern your praise. I said, what are you, what are you afraid of? If God is with me, why am I afraid? Whom shall I fear? If God be for me, who can be against me? You hear me, Danny? There's no reason to close your mouth of fear. Amen. Fear not him that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy the soul in the body. Right. If God says you're going to come out all right, you ought to jump your feet and say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Y'all coming out. I'm coming out. Y'all, y'all coming out. Coming out. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> I'm coming out. Where's the other little gun? Come on now. Work with me. I need a little help here this morning. I told you. I'm not coming I'm an hour ahead. Give us some help. Amen. <laughs> Somebody in your neighbor say, neighbor. Amen. Give us some praise. Give us some praise. Thank you. There we go. That's what I want to hear. Amen. Amen. I'm getting ready to sit down. <laughs> Tell your neighbor one more time, neighbor. Amen. Don't lose your praise. If you got a nice neighbor, <laughs> go to them and grab them by the hand. And look at them if you don't mind. They don't mind. They don't mind. My sister, what, 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 you, you don't want to talk? Okay, I'll take it. I need somebody to come up here and lay some way down there. Oh, y'all got to come up here, Mark. Yeah. Now, look at each other and say, neighbor, yeah. I don't care what you're going through, what you're going to experience this coming week, what you're going to experience in the next six months, in the next year, don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. Come on, give God some glory. Don't lose your praise. In my conclusion, I just need some people to help me 
right here to just open your mouth and just give God a hear praise. Where you, where, where are you at? Just stand to your feet. If you have a determination that you're going to praise him, no matter what difficulty you come to, open your mouth and give God a hear praise.
Make a joyful noise uh -huh. unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pastures. Enter, enter, point to the door, enter. Enter, enter his gates for what? And into his what? For what? A walk. Now When y'all come here, y'all should be set up for a walk. <laughs> we are Bible church, and y'all stumbling over this scripture. <laughs> that was God is good anyhow. Amen. Don't lose your praise. Amen. You know, say don't let nothing bring you down to where you shut your mouth on God. Amen. Keep praising Him. Yeah. Praise will bring you out of that situation. Amen. Praise will deliver you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just keep telling God, thank you. Keep telling God, I know I'm coming out. Keep Amen. telling God, I know there's going to be an end to this Amen. situation. Because right. you're going to end it for me. Amen. 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 Don't lose your praise. Come on, give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Be gracious. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the acknowledgement of the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we know that in this world there will be difficulties. And we understand, Lord, we will face challenges. But God, we know even in every challenge, Lord, there's another level of blessings in store for us if we don't faint in the midst of the process. God, give us a mind that when we're going through that we continue to praise you, lift up our hands and look up to the hill for which comes our help. All our help come from you. Now, Lord, inspire your people. Through this message, no matter what they're going through, that they still have a praise down on the inside. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank Come on, clap your hands for the Lord.